we were doing wide shot things. When we were told it's going to be a wide shot, we look at each other and sort of go... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the magic of TV. I've broken the spell. There you go. <laughs> How are you, my darling? Very well, thank you. Yeah. A little tired. We had a long day today. We, we should give context to that, by the way. Yes, we uh, should. Uh, Faith <laughs> and I, Faith God, the great Faith Goldie, uh, co-anchored the the coverage of Mrs. Thatcher's funeral on the station between 5 and 8, which meant that I was up at 3.30 a.m. What time did you wake up? About 3. One has to wash one's hair before I have just well, a little bit more than you. Yeah, some, some have to wash their hair. I didn't mean for that. I did, on, I did. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe how long head and shoulders last with my hair. Uh, can we see... Uh, let me do this to the camera. Please, uh, possibly the next leader of this country and prime minister, the leader of the Liberal Party, a man with destiny in the palm of his hands, was asked a question by Peter Mansbridge, entirely reasonable, in fact, inevitable, the question. If he were Prime Minister at a time of a, a Boston-like massacre, how would he react? Have a look at this. Over the coming days, we have to look at the root causes. There is no question um, that this happened uh, because there is someone who feels um, completely excluded, completely um, at war with uh, innocence at war with a society uh, and our approach has to be okay where do those tensions come from yeah now <laughs> when you see all of this and you will during the course of the next 24 48 hours he says you know about a dozen times we all say that sometimes the, the, the literal version of what we say oh did I say that but he comes across with all due respect as being a, a total idiot For, why why are his sleeves rolled up it's not particularly hot. Peter, Peter Mansbridge, elegant, you know, suit and tie. Why is it that Justin Trudeau has his shirt off, oh, not his shirt off, oh, darling, has his jacket off and his sleeves rolled up? Because he's trying to do the Dalton McGuinty thing, I'm hard at work for you. Stop the lying. But, Faith, we don't know who committed this act. No. Apparently, we do know they felt excluded. That's why they did it. You sound like a gibbering fool. Uh, a gibbering fool, and at first, you know, you think a uh, face, palm, head, desk, uh, but actually it's quite terrifying. It's terrifying because polls now indicate that this man is a serious contender to yep. be the prime minister of our country. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, homegrown Islamist uh, terrorists alike uh, often can't tell the difference between Canada and America. And sometimes you just have to face the fact that terrorism is a real threat within this world. And the reason why he's looking at root causes of terrorism is beyond me, because terrorism Terrorists don't ask to, to have their root causes examined. They tell you they, they want a, a, a world run by the Quran, where the Quran is their constitution. Well, certain types of... I mean, that, that's not jumping. If this was... Let's say it was a white supremacist, uh, supremacist Brevik-type character, neo-Nazi, would, would Justin then say, well, we have to... Look, we have to make Holocaust-denying National Socialist Hitler fetishists more, more accepted in society. No, he's implying, in fact, and we're not meant to do this, that it's Islamic terrorism. You know that's what he's saying by implication. Yeah, but then the question is, why would he say something like this? First of all, uh, comments like this, this apology for being the West, is something typical that we've seen on the left before. Kretchen, after 9-11, basically said it was the arrogance of the United States that brought upon these, these horrific massacres. Mm. Uh, uh, Obama, after the Benghazi gate, or Benghazi really, the attack on the U.S. mission there, said, well, it's our own fault because we created this, we created this movie, uh, which was a load of baloney. So why would someone say this? This kind of a comment. It's either you are so politically correct that you make no sense whatsoever, uh, or, or you truly do despise your own culture, or you are, quite frankly, an idiot. Because how can you possibly how can you possibly say hug a terrorist? You know, oh my gosh, they've they've blown off of, uh, people's legs, they've taken the, the lives of three youth, three young the, the three dead are three young people. One's a little boy, including an eight-year-old. But what, what we really need to do now is reach out to the terrorist? I, I'm sorry, I, am I on a totally different well, planet? It seems to me that if you aspire to be a political leader, you should be able to think on your feet at least to a limited degree. Now, all he had to say was, we know so little at this time, Peter. Our first reaction is to reach out to the, the, the people who have suffered so very much and offer our thoughts and prayers, even if you never pray. We must go to the support of our closest allies, in this case, the United States, people we hold dear to us. We must make sure the people who, who the perpetrators must be brought to justice and punished. That's all he had to say, but it's all facade. The rolling up of the sleeves is very similar, actually, to the rolling up of the mind. He doesn't think, mm -hmm. he, he, he cannot articulate a sensible comment. It's all about show, but 
I've got a horrible feeling it won't matter. Uh, he needs a pair of those Google glasses that actually have a teleprompter in front of him at all time. But you know what? Uh, you're, you're very right. There, there could have been a, a reasonable response of, you know, reach out to the victims. We don't know a lot at the time. My thoughts and prayers. Full stop. End. Uh, but, but quite frankly, the, the Boston bombs happened hours before he went into this interview. Uh, w would you not think that he or someone around him in his entourage would have briefed him on what a reasonable response Even would be to a question briefed, like this? You can see Peter Mansbridge, who is by no means anti-liberal, you, you can see he, he is rather confused by what he's being said. And God bless his soul, he even interjected, uh, you know, whoever clip, uh, edited that piece actually did Trudeau a favor, like you said, omitted yes, a lot did. of things you know, etc. And, and the follow-up question to that was less of a question than it was actually P-Man's helping Trudeau out. He says, I, I quote, would you uh, be picking up the phone, talking to the RCMP, CSIS, Border Patrol? It's like, hi, card, card, yeah. card, I'm trying to help you out here, bud. I see how ridiculous you sound right now. Now, mm. when you literally are, are, are saying, you know, maybe if we hug the terrorists more at recess, then people would not have lost limbs and lost sons and daughters right now. Mm. It, it's absolute lunacy, but guess what, Canada? Uh, Sun News Network is going to be the only network that really brings you this story and plays it, so that way enough folks can see this inside their living rooms. CBC might air the one piece and then move on, and then you know what? Tomorrow with the polls, this guy's going to become our next prime minister. You can say I put my money on it. Mm -hmm. I said a while ago, I mean, there were some people with whom we work who said, no, he can never be, he can never be. I've always believed he could and he would. I think he can be. And um, apparently one of the small islands off of New Zealand isn't bad most of the year and there's no internet or communication or, or hydro, but we could go and live there. I've already told the bosses here that uh, as soon as Trudeau's elected, consider that my two weeks notice, I'm out of here. You know, if, God forbid, it does happen. And I don't say that as a conservative, I say that as a Canadian. Oh, uh, Michael, you it's don't have vital, to be conservative to see this. It's vital that we are here to, to expose this man because Paul Martin was, was a, an extremely accomplished financial leader of this country. Chrétien drove me crazy most of the time, but this was a man of substance here who had worked his way up, who did, did understand the realities of life. You've had all sorts of liberal leaders. Jack Layton had a great deal to offer. Peter Comas passed away mm -hmm. while it, when I was in mm -hmm. Britain, but that's someone I was very fond of. This, this is someone entirely different. And this even is, tr this is laughable. Trudeau's own father had to deal with, uh, deal with homegrown course. terrorism. And what did he do? He invoked the War Measures Act. He yeah. didn't sit around thinking, well, why does Quebec want to separate? But, but Justin, Justin, how, how tight could you hug a terrorist? Just watch me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Michael.